27.20. So the spring constant lie, we think it's 30.67, but we know that it lies between these two values. Yeah? So it's, it's 27, it's 30.67, it could be as high as 35.2, as low as 27.2. What is it plus or minus then? How do we do the plus or minus? Do we just go high minus low over 2? Yeah? Just high minus low over 2, right? So I'm going to go, it's plus or minus... 35.2 minus 27.2 divided by 2. So that's what you do. 35.2, or if you're a spaz, 335.2. That difference is that divided by 2. And that is exactly 4. Right? And I think it's, you know, on the sheet it says that we should give a sig fig as one digit. That's what I'm not sure about. Let's give it as two digits. So on here it says, express it as uncertainty. As uncertainties have one sig fig. I'm not sure about that. I think maybe they gave us an example that has two. So I'm not dead sure about that. Let's give it as two, because apparently you can give it as two um, sig figs. So this is what I mean. Uh, when we write this down, and you might want to do this on the back side of your graph, just show that on the back side, but you could do it on the front, right? I think that it's, 30.7 plus or minus 4.0 is what we'd have newtons per meter. Yeah? And if you're, the slope of your best fit line doesn't come out to exactly 30.67 or whatever mine did, that's fine. It's certainly going to lie somewhere between these guys. That's not so hard, is it? What time is it? Three minutes, all right, that's good. Yeah, so finish that up. What you need to do, you need to have your best fit line, show the slope, calculating the slope of the steepest line, the least steep line, right? And then ultimately, um, you need to, to show this calculation of the uncertainty, right? And then express express your spring constant as a number plus or minus a number. It's not the worst data analysis in the world, but it's not what I would choose to be the only example of something that would give you a perfect score. So there it is.